let's go ahead and move into the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm uh, I'm excited to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, they were they were surprising, I guess you could say. Uh, we'll we'll go ahead and go through all the picks. They they had a few of them. They they took wide receiver Jalen Rager out of TCU with their first round pick at number twenty one. Uh, he's like five nine. He is super fast. Uh, you know, okay, like I, okay. They took quarterback Jalen Hurts out of Oklahoma in the second round. They took linebacker Davion Taylor out of Colorado in the third round. Fourth round, they had two picks. They got cornerback Kavon Wallace out of Clemson. They got offensive tackle John Hightower out of Boise State. They got uh, in the sixth round. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Fourth round, offensive tackle Jack Driscoll from Auburn. Fifth round, wide receiver John Hightower out of Boise State. Sixth round, linebacker Sean Bradley from Temple. Uh, also sixth round, Quez Watkins, wide receiver out of the Southern Miss, who can fly, by the way. Uh, sixth round, offensive tackle Prince Tega Wanagu out of Auburn, who, we if you watch the SEC on CBS, you heard his name a thousand times this year. And in round seven, they got edge rusher Casey Tuhill out of Stanford. Uh, overall, I like the Eagles draft. I think it was okay. Uh, we didn't talk about the the Cowboys. I think we both liked what the Cowboys did, right? Both liked the Cowboys, yes. Uh, the Eagles, I... So they needed wide receiver help, right? And and by going with Just Hightower, it, they, they got Rager in the first round. Maybe reached a little bit for that. I think they they wanted speed more than they trusted the better overall talent. Um, because Rager can fly, but he's like you know five nine five ten. Like he, I, you know, I I think people are so infatuated with the Tyreek Hill stuff that's going on in Kansas City. Like, am am I crazy about that? Here, talk to me, because I, I see your face here. Tell me what I'm. I'm not impressed with this draft, and I and, I, and it all started at the top. I think they there are five receivers that went after Rager that I would have taken over Rager. Yeah, I, I I'll say like, this, this, is, this because I don't want to I don't want to talk bad about the kid because I think he is immensely talented. Okay, but I he was not a he was not a top twenty one draft pick to me. Uh, Sir Dobby jumps in on YouTube. Have you done the Redskins yet? Nope, that is coming up right after yeah. we get done with the Eagles. So, uh, oh by the way. They uh the Eagles needed a linebacker, wide receiver, and safety help. Their over under for the season is nine and a half. Kind of high. I thought uh, a little a little crazy. I, I thought I thought they missed on the receiver. They took th- there are seven possible receivers, eight possible receivers that probably could have went in the first round, early second round, and I thought he was the back of that. Um let me let me tell you. Oh, good gracious, sorry about that. Uh okay. so the huddle report. Uh the Eagles did get a lot of value in the later part of the draft, but look, Jalen Rager was number 33 on their big board, and they took him 21. Jalen Hurts was number 76 on their big board. They took him 53. So I think the Jalen Hurts pick was a complete wasted pick. I, this is a team, this is a team that believes in two quarterbacks. They don't call him the backup. They call him their second quarterback, just like their second cornerback, just like their second receiver and second running back. Um, I I don't think that Jalen is going to play in the NFL very well, and I mean there were there were scouts that were talking about he could be good value at kick returner. Well, that ain't what you take in the second round, you dumbass. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Like like yes, Julian Edelman has a lot of value being able to play wide receiver and do trick plays with, but you get Julian Edelman for a bag of beans at the back of the draft. You yeah. don't spend a second round pick when this team sucked last year. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, Darren McCardle jumped in with a super chat on YouTube. Uh, he said, "Are you doing the Dolphins today?" Is only the NFC East. We did the Dolphins yesterday. You can go back and find that. Uh, but, go back and catch those. But but hang out with us. We uh, we really liked what the Dolphins did. So uh, definitely go and check that out. But hang out so with I'm, us for a little bit and let's talk about the NFC East right now. So I'm, so I'm not so I'm not impressed with this draft. And 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 there's probably a bunch of guys. I thought they got a ton of value late. I thought it was yes, great late. Like the, the cornerback from Clemson, they addressed that. I thought he was good. Offensive tackle, Driscoll from Auburn, good kid, good player. He's probably going to be a decent pro. Yeah, when I'll go from Auburn, I thought I, I think he's going to yeah, be great. Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, they, they got two O linemen from that Auburn offensive line. That's a good line. 
yeah. it's a good line. Yeah, I thought you they know, were good. They're gonna be fine. Like you, you, you mentioned the kid from um uh from uh, uh, la, 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 Southern Miss that can just fly. Yeah, Quez Watkins. Yeah, like you've got you've got speed, and that's fine. That's you, you all took, fine. You took flyers you, on guys in the sixth and seventh. You round. had an opportunity to yeah. take a. Justin Jefferson or a T Higgins, a just a or you could have taken a Mims. All these guys have speed too. Okay, yeah, they're all really fast too, and they just comp better than than Rager. They just do. Yeah. And then your second pick for a team that was bad last year and has got holes was a backup quarterback that at least twenty of the thirty two teams don't believe this guy could play quarterback and wasn't on a draft board. Yeah. I mean that's that's what's insane to me. Is it, it? I don't get it. You you know as well as anybody. Me being an Alabama fan, I love Jalen Hurts. You can he want a, good things for him. That's yes, awesome. He is a fantastic. I was so glad that he got drafted in the second round because he's going to get paid, and it's great, yeah. right? But and Make and this might that money because you're not getting paid again. This this might be a good spot for him, you know, to be able to play. But I don't know. That's a good thing. I don't know if it is either. The more that he I, showcases his talent, you, so you we and I be real careful about about claiming uh, Doug Peterson as an offensive guru. Okay, yeah, because he hadn't because been great since uh, since Frank Reich left. I know that great offense that they had that led them to a Super Bowl where they looked unbelievable with a backup quarterback, mind you, was all Frank Reich. Yeah, and ever since Frank left, Carson Wentz hasn't been close to the same guy, and that offense has sucked. And people would say, "Well, look at the receivers." Name the receivers they had on that Super Bowl run because they're all the same guys that are there right now or were and have been cut. Yeah. Michael jumped Those in on Twitch. Those guys were better under Frank Wright. Frank oh, Wright yeah. is a genius. Frank Wright is a great coach. I don't know that Doug Peterson is. Uh, Michael jumped in. He said, what's up, fellas? Uh, we're <laughs> He jumped in a little late, but we uh, we appreciate you jumping in. We started early today, brother, so yeah. make sure you check out the podcast or watch it later on YouTube. Um, so, I I love Jalen Hurts. You and I argued about this back and forth for a long time last season where I said, look, Tua is the better quarterback. He just is. And you thought that they should have left Jalen as the starter and all that. And, and I don't know what Jalen did to lose his job outside of the bad first half. He he just Losing wasn't. his job and being the better quarterback are not the same thing. Right. It kind of. I mean, they kind of are. Like, you, you lose your job if somebody is better at the job than you. Like it's the same thing with the flooring business that you were just talking about. Like if you yeah, get a bad I review do on Yelp, something to get fired. I got to do something to get a bad review. Jaylen right, right. Did. And that's the thing. And and Jalen did enough to get a bad review because he couldn't throw the football. Now it was only in one game. He at, no, it was in. <laughs> it was the whole season. I promise you, it was the whole season. Okay. Um, in 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 the season before that. Now he got and that better. That doesn't mean he's going to be a good pro. By the way, no, now, he's nothing that, to do. What you do in college? Tim Tebow was an excellent quarterback in college. Doesn't mean he deserves one of these thirty-two jobs. No, no, no. It, definitely not. Because even in college, you knew that it, that his release and whatnot was not NFL. He can't quality. throw the football. Like, no, he can't throw the football. And and my, my I don't. Thought of, I thought you could still win national championships at Alabama with Jalen. And well. It, not with Clemson around the corner, right? Like not with Georgia doing what they're doing. Like it, 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 it became a, a big time thing. And and Jalen has improved as a passer, but has he improved to NFL quality? He, it, I don't it's not think about so. As a passer, but he can't read a defense. He went to the one place where you don't have to read a defense. Lincoln Riley's offense is one read. If it's not there, pull it down, run the ball. Yeah, he did it with Baker. He did it with Kyler, and he's done it with them. Now, I will say this, like. Lamar Jackson has kind of the same thing going on at Baltimore. That's, that's absolutely not true. That's absolutely not true. Lamar Jackson's offense at Louisville was not a one-read offense. Bobby no, Petrino's no, no, no. It offense wasn't. is a complex offense where you have to read defenses. Agreed. But I, I at Baltimore, I think that it would be about the same. They're nothing alike. But they're that's, nothing alike, Gary. But that's the thing. Hold on. They're hold black on. and they're fast. That's it. That's where the line goes away <laughs> when you compare those two. I'll say this, Lamar. Ja- uh, let's see. Just say no to drugs. Said Lamar Jackson's about to get game plan so hard for. We go. Yeah, I think so. I, we go disagree. That, and that's that's totally that fine. Buck. I'm gonna I, keep riding that buck until I get thrown off. I am on the other side. Uh, and Michael jumps in on Twitch. He said Jalen is an athlete with an arm. I have the same issue with mine at A and M. Look, 
I, I think that Jalen is smart enough to read defenses at this point. When he was at Alabama, he was not. Uh, he, wasn't it, at, he wasn't at Oklahoma, so what happened between Oklahoma and today for he to get drafted? I mean, he got smarter. That, that's between the thing, not right? Playing football? I don't believe that he should have been a second-round draft pick. I thought somebody would fall in love with his abilities and would draft him. That's why I bet on it. But I, I this is this was early. This is not the right spot for him. I don't. I, this is a wasted pick. I mean, it just wasted it, pick. In yeah, the second round for a team I, that sucked last year. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, they. I mean, they kind of did. They made the playoffs. They suck. The games that they won, they won ugly. They won bad. They the, won a, games where nobody wanted to win. They played a game in Washington that was unwatchable. They played a Monday night football game in Atlanta that nobody wanted to win. And when the offense looked the best was when Josh <laughs> McCown was in, and he drove them all the way down the field. And then all of a sudden, Wentz is feeling better. He gets in the goal line. I want to get this touchdown in. And what does he do? Cocks it up. Yep. That's a, a uh, just said no to drugs. Said he's better than Herbert. And then he said on his back though. <laughs> Yeah, a hundred percent, man. I, I'm with you about about Jalen Hurts. I love Jalen Hurts. I wish nothing but success for him. I hope that he ends up being a better quarterback than we project him to be. But right. from what we saw at Oklahoma, what we saw at Alabama, he is not NFL starter quality. And there's no reason if you've got Carson Wentz and you are planning to build your team around Carson Wentz that you should take a guy to come in and replace Carson Wentz. Like, that's just ridiculous. Uh, Michael jumped in. He said Eagles had no business making that pick then. 100%. He didn't. Like, they... they it, it, so many talented athletes on the board still there. It, it's so the same many. thing. It's the same issue we had. with, And this was at pick 53. We had the same issue with Green Bay. Like, it, it just... It made zero sense for the front office to make... And look, now, the difference is, is if they don't take love there, I think somebody else has taken love. There yeah. were enough teams that do need a quarterback that were interested and enamored with love. I do not believe that was the case with Hurts. I just don't. No, I, I don't think so either. I've read so enough either. to where I know there was at least a third of the league had him off of their board. He's just not draftable. He's just not going to get the job because he doesn't do the one thing they need. And if you could, well, maybe we can move him to receiver. Great. This is the deepest receiver class we've ever had. Is he better than any of those guys who are really freaking good? I don't no. think so. No, he's not. He's like the 50th best receiver coming out of this draft. Then no, that doesn't help. No. Matt on uh, on YouTube said, Hurts is a hard worker and keeps quiet. He's the type of guy who comes in, works hard, learns, and earns his way on the field. Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. Okay. Just say no to drugs. Listen, said the guy's, a, the guy's a nice guy. He's a great, great, great guy. That is that is not an attribute for 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 being an NFL player. I'm sorry. I wish um, they were all better guys, but at some point in time, you got to be able to play. Just say no to drugs on Twitch. Said Jalen Hurts' career outlasts Jordan Love and Justin Herbert. He said, "Let's make a long term bet on this." Um, Ooh, I don't know about that. I think Herbert's going to last just for the sheer fact that because of where he was drafted, this is GMs don't like to give up on their guys. Yeah, no, I can understand that. He said, uh, "I'm going to tell you this right now. If Tom Brady does not pick the the Bucks, they re-sign and double down on Jameis Winston." That's um, a fact. Just That's a note of drugs said, "Dude, I watch film uh, for every game, and you are way underestimating him. Uh, his skill set was much improved in Oklahoma, and yes, he could throw the ball exceptionally better at Oklahoma than he did at Alabama because of his." The coaches that he played on. The offense under. that he ran. Yeah. Dan Enos, his quarterback coach at Alabama, helped him immensely his junior year. His senior year, he played for Lincoln Riley. Yes, he got better as a quarterback. But yes. did he get NFL starter better? I don't think so. Uh, he said he's very good flushed out of the pocket, much like Burrow. Now, Darren McArdle does another super chat on, uh, on YouTube. He said three years in a row, Wentz went down, needed a backup quarterback. If that is the case... This Why would you guy. take a guy that doesn't fit your offense? Go get Andy Dalton. Go get Cam Newton. You go get those guys for a ham sandwich right now. Yeah, and and, and they would fit. Uh, Andy Dalton would fit your offense so much better right now than Jalen Hurts. It just would. Like, it, it, I, and again, I love Jalen Hurts, and I hope. <laughs> just say no to drugs. That Andy Dalton is Dunsky's boys. Come on, I don't think so. I don't think he's he in love with the guy. He I, thinks he can win the Super Bowl. I, I, <laughs> 
I don't know that he can win a Super Bowl. That's I just, what you said earlier. I said he could compete for a Super Bowl with the Patriots. That's with the Patriots, that's, that's though. What you just said. How, how, how's it any different than what I just said? <laughs> hey, he jumps in. He said, come on, bet. Bet. <laughs> I'll make any bet you want on Jalen Hurts. I, I really will. I'll, I'll I, take that chance. I I hope <laughs> Matt and Gingers have no souls. <laughs> I swear to God, man. The guys we got in our chat are just bonkers. I swear to God. All He's right. not wrong. Uh, He's not wrong. We, no. <laughs> let's uh, let's go. Uh, do we? Uh, hey, so for this uh, for the Eagles, I don't like it. I you don't like it. It if it's possible to split it, I don't like what they did early. I really That's like right. what they did late. Yeah, if um, they would have not cocked up the first two picks, then yeah, I could have easily very much liked this team. Yeah, I, but I love everything they did from round three through round seven. I love when all there were of that. Stars to be available to be had at the first two picks, and you mess those up. I just, I'm, it's hard for me to yeah hold my nose and 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 swallow the rest of it. I think they got some guys in round from the hundredth pick on I, that they on can that, be. I, I named off a couple of guys that I think they they did well on. Yeah, so. I, I think they got some good guys in those. We'll uh we'll move on from there. Let's go ahead and.